after the second video, I was going to do a cooking video if no one watched it. But thank you, I now have 12 subscribers. It's a small number in general, but it's big for me. So I felt like doing one more woodcraft video for them. Then I realized I need a place where I can put my phone and pen on my desk. And here's what I got. Again, Kumiko style. Let's see how I made them. First off, I took out the wireless charger. I was looking for screws to open the case, but this one doesn't have any. So I pushed the screwdriver in the gap to open it by force. I know this is a relatively new charger and I could use it as is, but hey, this is YouTube. I don't want to make something that's only for video, so I promise I'll use what I make. Then I used the heat gun to soften the adhesive behind the magnet and coil, and carefully take them out. It seems like this board doesn't have mounting holes. How can I mount it on wood? Moving on to woodworking. At this time, I wanted to make everything with hand tools. Though I don't have many power tools from the beginning. It's difficult to cut straight, but I now have a planer. I got some other new tools based on my experience from the past two projects. See, this cheap miter box. At least this works. Ah, uh, I cut my finger. Oh well, it just camera fell down and scratched my finger with my chisel. You might see red spots on these pieces, but don't worry, it's not blood. I cheated. I mean, I used a circular saw that has a red blade. Anyways, I used a marking gauge to draw lines and then a chisel to fabricate all pieces. By the way, this is popular. And now, this is basswood. I cut out basswood mostly with an exacto knife, as it's soft enough. And those are all the frame pieces I fabricated. It's actually more precise than I expected. Let me tell you one thing. The woodcraft wasn't my hobby, but just first video I uploaded happened to be woodcraft, and it was fun so I tried to continue it. Though I am tempted to try something else too. Anyways, whatever I do, I will try my best to entertain you, so please subscribe to this channel. It seems like I finished assembling the basic stuff. Now it's Kumiko session. As this is the third time, I tried cutting out several thin strips by myself. What I'm using now is a Japanese style cheap marking gauge. And I found if I run it over several passes from top and bottom, I can snap it up to 1 8 thickness wood. You can get it from Amazon USA for like $10. Check out the link in the description. It's not an affiliate link. Okay, now I cut out joint slots on strips. There are tons of tutorial videos of Kumiko on YouTube. So you should check them if you want to try making Kumiko. It's better than I explain it. My advice is, you just need to use a fine blade saw and don't lose your concentration as long as you stay focused on every cut. Movies like me can do it. It just takes time. I kind of improved my accuracy, so this time everything was very snug. I needed to use hammer to push parts in. See? It looks like two pieces, but it's actually four. I was so happy with the result.
Then I moved on to put stain and the finishing coat. I put polyurethane instead of mineral oil at this time. It better protects them from pen scratches or phone interactions. Now for the final process to assemble all the pieces. Basically, I just glue them, fit them, and clean them. Then for the wireless charger, I fit the board in the slot. And glue the stop blocks as well as mounting blocks for LED. Then I simply use the double-sided tape to put the wireless charger. And just in case, hot glue on corners. The last step is to close it. And that's it. Here's what I made. They look nice to me. Let's see piece by piece. Like I said, I used the polyurethane to protect it from pen scratches and it's too shiny for me. Other than that, Kumiko fits snug, and I think this came out well. Then wireless charger. Oops, stain didn't go well. I suck at gluing things, and it makes the stain not go on evenly. Maybe I should use a hardwood that doesn't need stain if there is next time. At least this charger works. Oh, the LED too. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I would be happy if you liked the video and more happy if you subscribe to this channel. If you have any suggestion to my video, it's also welcome. See you!